Hey guys, welcome back to more Hogwarts. So, we have a few places to go visit. Let me see the map. Okay, so... Joke and Trick Shop. Okay. Uh, so let's go... Hmm. Let me see... For our quest. Okay, scrolls, wand, potion, and magic. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's go here. I think that's one of them. Uh, no. Okay, let's go here and just make our way. Actually, let's go here first and then make our way to the others. Oh, that was weird. Okay, so it's this building. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay, small portion station unlocks the abilities. Okay, pursuit to all potion brew needs. Okay. Okay, so grow plants. Okay, let's go with this one first. What's here? Oh, we can sell these items. A black leather glove, coat trim, then hat. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's sell these items. A pleasure doing business with you. Okay. But yeah, let's go with the potion station. Yeah. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Oh, we can get both. Okay. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Hmm. Beast feeder. Beast toy box. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can afford any just yet. Hmm. Okay. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Hmm. I like how you can just walk into basically any room. I've caught on to that. I'm not sure if that's how it is for all the rooms, but so far it's I think this is 
one of the few few first games where you can just walk in wherever. Usually like big open worlds, there are certain places you can't really go into. So I like that. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, ah, mm. Perhaps... Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Okay, wood type black thorn, unicorn hair. Okay, let's see. Curious indeed. Hmm. Hmm, that one looks unique. How intriguing. Hmm. Curious indeed. Hmm. How intriguing. Hmm. Kind of like how it looks so far. Flexibility? Curious indeed. Hmm. Uh, how can how you intriguing. tell? Curious indeed. Hmm. How I, intriguing. I guess we can go with maybe solid. Curious indeed. 
Okay, and then that's just how long we want it. Hmm. How intriguing. I guess 12. And then the wood type. Curious indeed. Maybe a cherry? So a great range of magic for producing consistent magic, producing powerful magic. Hmm, I feel this will be more for, what is the slithered house? I feel for us it might be more great range of magic, because we do want to produce different types. Hmm. Hmm, but then again, a powerful magic. Let's go with powerful. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Mm, and it learns quickly. Yeah, let's go with that one. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Hmm. Okay. Stylish hat. What's this? Oh, just two. Okay. Yeah, I like that. At first I was thinking about the Phoenix, but I figure, yeah, we need powerful. Let's see. For quest. We need potions and visit the magic need. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, but I figured having something powerful will be, I feel more useful. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion-making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. 
I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. <laughs> but for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Okay, for a healing potion, yeah, we need that. A wise decision. Thank you. Okay, Rocky film the because helping to protect them from harm. Hmm. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Hmm, invisible potion. That would come in handy. Hmm. Okay. Okay, it raises our defense. Hmm. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hmm. Okay, so we have potions now, and I think we have to go up here for the last one. Oh, I, was that a page? Oh, I was about to use that one spell we have. Well, hello there. Oh, it's a bank. Oh no, we are in the right place. Okay. Oh, hello there. Please come in. I was right, it is a page. Okay, so I think it's there we go. I'm curious why it didn't appear on the map. Oh, hello there. Please come in. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a package of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Okay, unless they're about to grow in a small pot. Okay. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Hmm. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Okay, but that was nice. We got our wand. We have some recipes for pots. So, yeah, so far so good. Um, level one lock. Hmm. Level one lock. Oh, that girl just appeared out of nowhere in front of us. Okay, level one. I'm assuming down the road we'll be able to unlock them. Ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favorite shop. 
<laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. This is unexpected. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he rocked us. Throw ancient. I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more. Oh, I like that. It seems like it stuns him a bit. Oh no, we're trapped. Just on defense right now. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh, she got hit. This combo because it seems like it stuns him. Ooh. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Hmm. At least we know we have that powerful. I'm not sure if one of the perks with the wand. Oh, hello there. Repair. A moment if you want. I will see what he wants. Lucky they didn't do more damage. Yeah, but how convenient if. We ever have something like this, forget about it. We won't need any construction crew, nothing. Just Repel. wave your wand and fixes any damages. But no, that was intense, but besides getting hit One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. A few hard times it it was a good fight. I'm assuming the blue on our bottom right would allow us to use that 
special ability that we used earlier. Yeah, but everything looks looks nice. Okay, let's go in here. We were just talking about you. Speak to shopkeeper. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh yeah, that'd Thank be... Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? And the fact you have the Let option today. Take your time. to turn it away if you choose to. Okay, our offense, but cannot be upgraded. Okay, yeah, we'll take it. You won't be disappointed. That's a great. Okay, you receive new gear. Time to equip. Okay, defense and offense. I know. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Even our wands. We're able to equip different ones. So, five, zero. Okay, and then different items. Okay, so legendary. And we can upgrade it as well. Hmm. Oh, and you can preview the gear as well. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Oh, I like that. Ah, but this is really nice. Hmm. Something is... What is this? Hmm. Can interact with it. Oh, there's... Hmm. Search chest. Okay. Yeah, but I like that. Um, Hello there. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to choose from here, so take your time. The top hat, I know it would help us, but... I don't want us to be covered up. <laughs> Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. 
that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh. Oh, time, lame. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. <sighs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Branrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Okay. So then that troll that we encountered previously is how to get us. Okay, it's night time. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Okay, you must return for the night access map. Okay, map button. Okay, fast travel to your common room.
Would it be this one? Okay, here we go. Okay. All right, guys. Um, what a game. So we got attacked by trolls. Uh, we do have an email to read. Okay, from Professor Fig. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found. Hmm, okay. Okay, so travel to Professor Fig. But yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.